Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you by you. I am your host, Ronnie McBride. And today, what I'm going to do is in the next few weeks, I'm going to focus on one feature in Affinity Photo Beta. And I'm not going to do full out tutorials, but I'm just going to kind of talk about each one of these features and how I may use that feature within this application. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to do a full out tutorial and have things actually kind of change because this is a beta and it is subject to change and they're making adjustments and I've already seen a couple of things that, that have changed from my last video to this video. Nothing super major, but they're more workflow um, things and, and maybe uh, answers to some of the uh, questions that may come up in the forums. Okay. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this one feature. It's called the in paint brush. And it was the brush that was used to remove the elephant out of the promo demo video. And if you haven't seen that, check for the link down below in the description. Um, and so what I have here is I have this, a picture that I took um, of this model and I've been really wanting to update it and I haven't had a chance to go and, and touch it up. So this is giving me a good excuse to do, do that. I already went through frequency separation to kind of soften up her skin and remove blemishes and all that kind of stuff. So um, if you wanna learn how to do that, definitely click on the link that will pop up in the video right about now. And you could watch that video and see how you could use frequency separation in your own work. In the meantime, I'm gonna focus on the in-paint brush and to get to that brush, you hit the J key. And if you keep hitting J, you'll see that it will cycle through the subtools of that particular brush. Um, so of that particular function, I should say. So there's a healing brush, the patch brush, the red eye removal, but we're gonna focus on the in paint brush and what I used it for was to remove flyaway hair in an image okay so there was all these little hairs when you take a picture sometimes you get a hair that's in the wrong place or it's crossing over in the chest and you you don't like it well that's what I used it for and here I can show you a little demonstration of where I did it okay so this is the image before and what you'll see here is I kind of changed um, the hair. I've actually changed the flow of it. And the way that I did that is when I did the frequency separation, I actually filled in the color in this area and actually um, cloned over the texture in this area so that I could get this filled in the way that I want. I didn't like it in the original image. It may be how the hair was parting or how the light was hitting it. I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to kind of change how that looked. So I made that that edit here. Um, as you can see, there's all these little flyaways that I removed in these different areas. And this is the before image. And I put the before on the right hand side because I'm getting used to this idea of before being on the right than on the left, because you'll see that in a lot of the functions of some of these sub um, functions in Affinity Photo Beta. Um, until they change that or they make it an option to change it from left to right. I'd prefer if they had made it an option, but there must be some thinking behind that. So I'm just getting used to it. So it'll be on the right. Anyway, so if you want to remove hairs from an image, what I would do is if you hit the uh, J key, right? And let me hit J until I get to my in paint brush. And then I'm using a pen tablet, and I suggest if you're doing any sort of uh, touch-up work that you get yourself a pen tablet. Wacom's are very expensive. You can find them on Craigslist, um, or you can find them on eBay or something like that. Or you can just buy uh, a bamboo. It'll it'll do for most uh, most touch-up work as well. Um, I'm using a Huion, which is a off-brand, I think it's a Chinese brand, and it's great. It's got 124 levels of pressure sensitivity, so it's kind of actually pretty in line with the Intuos. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. Um, the way that you use this brush is very simple. There's no crazy magic here. There's no, you know, special sauce here. You just take your brush and you draw over it. And what I do is I like to make my brush the size uh, about a little bit bigger than the size of what I'm trying to remove because I don't want it to have to think too hard and figure out what exactly I want to remove. Okay, so that, th that did that pretty cleanly, right? That's pretty smooth there. And you just draw over those lines. And that's how I got rid of the hair here. Um, I like to keep my hardness at 19%. 
So it's kind of like a gradual build. I do that with most of my tools only because, you know, um, when you want things to kind of fade and blend in, you don't want it to have harsh edges. What it does is when you change the hardness, you're feathering the edges of that particular Paint tool. Brush. And, okay, so that's it. Um, my before here on the right. You can actually see my after I showed you how to use this entire picture in all of its glory, like so. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you by you. And if you have any questions, definitely put those questions down in the comment area, or you could tweet me at Mixed Media Salad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with another quick tip on Affinity Photo Beta. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to receive 50% off my training, make sure you sign up at MixedMediaSalad.com.